The father of the atom bomb, J. Robert Oppenheimer, was instrumental in leading the Manhattan Project and creating the first ever nuclear bomb, the atom bomb. But he famously opposed developing the hydrogen bomb. So what's the difference? Both are nuclear, but only one has ever been used in warfare. In 1945, the United States dropped two bombs on two Japanese cities, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, to devastating effects. But the H-bomb has never been used outside of testing. H-bombs are thousands of times more powerful than atomic bombs. In fact, the biggest bomb ever detonated is an H-bomb, the Tsar Bomba. This is the terror that once again casts its eerie shadow over the face of the Earth, the hydrogen bomb. This was 3,000 times the strength of the atom bomb dropped on Hiroshima and was tested by the Soviet Union in 1961. But why exactly is the H-bomb so much more destructive than the atomic bomb? To understand this, we need to know where these two nuclear weapons get their power. The difference between nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. Splitting big atoms is called fission. Putting together small atoms is called fusion. So in an atom bomb, uh, they take big atoms that are somewhat unstable and split them and that releases energy. When a big atom like uranium or plutonium splits, it releases a lot of energy, but it also releases a couple of extra neutrons. Each of those neutrons can then go split another atom, which will release a couple more neutrons. And so you get two, four, eights, and pretty soon you've got trillions, quadrillions of atoms splitting and releasing neutrons. And that then builds up to an enormous amount of energy. Energy measured in the equivalent of thousands or even millions of tons of equivalent of conventional explosives. Hydrogen bombs, on the other hand, are a combination of nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. In a hydrogen bomb, they take small atoms and put them together, and that releases energy. Think of nuclear fusion as almost the opposite of nuclear fission. Instead of a single atom splitting, atoms fuse two lighter atomic nuclei together into a heavier one. It's the same reaction that powers our sun and it's the fusion process that releases an even greater amount of energy than nuclear fission alone, hence the far greater explosive power. So whatever you think of Oppenheimer's role in creating the atom bomb, you can probably see the argument against developing the even more destructive H-bomb. And even though Oppenheimer lost the argument, we can be grateful that none of them have yet been used outside of testing.